Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video marks the beginning of a new series that I'm starting here on the channel and I'm going to call it cash stuffing small business sinking funds. Um, so I will continue to do my regular cash stuffing of my personal budget on Fridays, but now um, starting on Tuesdays, I am going to be stuffing my business sinking funds. I have created um, 18 new business sinking funds for myself. So in these videos, y'all will see me stuff my small business sinking funds. I will update you on the business, how things are going, maybe um, anything new that's coming up and you know any wins any challenges just things like that basically i'm just hoping that this series um definitely number one keeps me accountable to my business expenses and just making sure that i have a handle on them and also i hope that it inspires my fellow small business owners my aspiring small business owners um and then just those of y'all like me who love cash stuffing videos and you just like to watch it for the enjoyment so i'm giving you a dose of cash stuffing in the middle of the week now instead of just only at the end of the week so if you like these videos hit the like and subscribe button leave me a comment and let's get started so in my previous cash stuffing video I briefly showed you all um, what my January budget was looking like for this year so I just wanted to revisit this additional expenses section um, sinking funds number two I did not tell y'all what this was because we're here now so the $400 a month for seeking funds number two, this um, includes these business sinking funds. So moving forward, I will now put business sinking funds um, in my monthly budget. Okay, y'all. So I am currently waiting for my A6 binders to be delivered to me. Um, so the the funds right now do not have a binder, but as soon as they get here, they will. So I'm just kind of keeping them in the little holding area until they arrive. And I've broken my business sinking funds down into four categories. So my categories include my buffer envelopes, annual envelopes, future envelopes, and just in case envelopes. So we are gonna start with the buffer envelopes. And I consider these buffer envelopes because I already pay for these things on a weekly or monthly basis. And so these envelopes are basically just to help me out in the months where I may be over budget with my business. Um, I was originally giving myself $250 a month and that's not enough. So I'm having to go up um, on that amount. So for those months where I'm over budget or I may have a larger expense, whether in these categories or somewhere else in my life, that's unexpected, anything like that, I will have some money in these buffer envelopes to help me out. Also to give me a break. So if I, um, you know, stuff these to the point where I've built enough money in them, you know, hey, I can take out of this envelope for my office rent because I've saved it up over time instead of having to take it out of my budget for this month. So that is my goal behind these buffer envelopes. So we're gonna start with nails. As y'all know, I get my nails done like, <laughs> We know that. So um, nails is gonna be a buffer envelope and it is going to be getting $5. So we are starting with a five. Um, next is going to be my office rent. And this, um, all these envelopes guys have trackers in them and my buffer envelopes actually do have a goal. So this has a goal of $100. This has a goal of $100. So what the goal means for me is that I will not pull out of these envelopes until they have reached their goal. So that means I'm gonna let them grow and not pull from them until they have reached their goal. Um, and I'm starting off stuffing them small, but we'll see how my finances are looking for this year and I will maybe be able to go up on the amounts that I'm putting in. But for right now, I'm starting small. So next we have shipping. And this is going to include um, shipping supply. So this envelope 
is for my shipping supplies so bu uh, bubble mailers and um, envelopes and all those different sorts of things that we need to ship our products shipping is going to get a 20. And these are brand new envelopes, so they're a little, they have not been used at all. They're a little tight. Next, we have my office supplies. And office supplies consists of um, like ink, printer paper, um, pens, things like that, computer ink. That is what I consider as my office supplies. And office supplies is going to be getting $10. So 10. Next we have my vendors envelope. So um, I do work with vendors for different um, products, product uh, projects and things of that nature. So Again, these are all things that I will pay for out of pocket and just include in my budget. But if I can use these envelopes later on down the line to help decrease expenses, I am looking forward to that. So business uh, vendors gets two dollars. My equipment envelope, this is going to get ten dollars. And equipment is basically like the machines I use, um, scissors, tape, like all that stuff that it takes to make handmade products. Um, it takes a lot of equipment to make some handmade products. So that is what this envelope is for. Next, we have jewelry, and jewelry is going to get $5. And one thing about being a YouTuber with, um, you know, sit down type of videos where you're showing your hands and different things like that, you know, you have to keep, keep those things up. So jewelry, nails, all of that is a part of my aesthetics. It's a part of, um, you know, just the videos being visually pleasing to you all. So that's important to me. You know, this may not be something you would include in your business um, sinking funds, even if you do or don't have a YouTube channel, but this is one that's important to me, jewelry and nails. And I don't buy jewelry much, maybe like once a year, if that. So that should be able to grow pretty well. Shop supplies is getting a 10. And so the difference between my office supplies and shop supplies is this envelope is strictly for materials that I use to make my products. So my lamination, my laminate, um, lamination sheets, my paper, um, I use all different types of paper, my vinyl, my envelopes and all of that. Whereas the office supplies, like I said, that's like going to be like my computer ink, my tape, my, um, you know, pens if I need different pens and stuff like that. So shop supplies is going to get $10. And again, the goals just mean that I'm not going to pull from the envelope until I have grown into at least that much so that the envelope can, um, you know, have a nice amount of money in it before pulling out of it. So these are my buffer envelopes, guys, and these will have their own binders as soon as the A6 binders get in. And so next we're going to move on to the next category. Okay guys, so the next category of envelopes are considered my future expense envelopes. And this will have three, a second shop, employees, and Patreon. So in the future, not anytime soon, so don't worry. I'm not holding anything from y'all. But um, in the future, I do intend to open a second shop and it will be completely different from um, my current 
like planner budget stationery shop um it will not be the same and i want to start focusing on saving some money for it just so that when it's time i have a nice chunk of money saved for the start start startup the start expenses and so i don't plan on opening up a second shop for probably at least a few years or a couple years so i have quite a bit of time to save for it but it's definitely on my mind and i definitely want to start preparing myself for that expense in the future so my next envelope is for my employees i currently do not have any employees um but i do hope to bring some people or someone on board my mom actually helps me out a lot in the shop and just in general pretty much for nothing like she doesn't charge me anything but um you know we've talked about her helping me out in the shop and that being you know her job her part-time job and maybe even her full-time job so this envelope is going to be for when i get to that level where i can bring my mom on board or bring my sister on board i will have some funds to buy them their own equipment so right now you know i only have one of everything like i have one printer one cricket machine um one you know computer one laptop things like that but when i do grow to that point where i can bring someone else on board i want to be able to buy another set of equipment so that they can work from home as well or just don't have to use the same one you know we don't have to share equipment so that's what this is for for patreon um i will start a patreon <laughs> In the future, again, it's later on down the road. I'm thinking like maybe at like 30,000 subscribers, maybe, I don't know. I go back and forth between like how many subscribers I wanna have before I start this. Um, but it is something that I am interested in doing just because it, I know it'll give me more of an opportunity to like be able to talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, be able to, um, give advice give encouragement anything like that and that is something that i do want to do and want to offer so patreon will be coming up later on in the future so these are my three future business expenses all right y'all so the next category that i have envelopes under would be the just in case category and so these are different things that could come up um, concerning my business that i don't necessarily have to pay for anything but i feel like some things may come up and i want to be prepared just in case it does so um y'all know that i am an affiliate marketer for a couple of different uh brands or companies however you want to say that and typically i don't have to spend any money for being an affiliate marketer but there are times where maybe they may come out with something, um, you know, Erin Condra may come out with something other than a planner. Um, I just became an affiliate of Madam Glam, so that's a nail company. They may come out with something and, you know, I may want to buy something outside of what they already give to me to, you know, market for them. So I just decided to, you know, put a little money aside just in case something comes up with one of the brands that I'm an affiliate for and I want to purchase it. Next, we have my education envelope and this is going to be for me wanting to educate myself, better my craft. Um, I think last year, 2021, it might have been 2020, I took a YouTube course actually from um, Morgan Tracy J. And it was $50. It was all, all online. It came with homework and all kind of stuff. She teaches you different things, SEO, all that good stuff. And I took her course. So, you know, in the future, I definitely will probably want to um, educate myself, you know, buy like some small business books or maybe take another YouTube course, maybe take another... I mean, not take another, but take a like an e-commerce course, things like that. And then I'll have some money aside to be able to do that. So education is going to get two dollars. All 
All right, and then next will be my YouTube envelope. And YouTube is going to get $5. And so again, being a YouTuber, you know, things come up. I think two weeks ago, my mic broke. <laughs> so I had to buy another one, you know? So if I wanna change up my background or need something, need a new mic or something like that, I'll have it in my YouTube fund. And then the last of these just in case envelopes is going to be my Instagram envelope. And this is going to get a dollar. So as we all know, Instagram is free. It's free to have an account. It's free to post all that good stuff. Like it costs you no money. I've promoted a post on Instagram once. I, I want to say I spent about $30 um, just promoting one of my posts on Instagram. So, you know, in the event that I want to promote another post to boost my followers or, you know, maybe a new product in the shop and I want to make sure I boost it. I'll have some funds in my Instagram envelope and I can pay to promote a post. All right, y'all. And the last category for my small business sinking funds is going to be my annual payments categories. So this is going to include subscriptions, my PO box and planners. So starting with subscriptions, I do have, you know, personal subscriptions for myself, Netflix, Apple Music, all that stuff. For business, these subscriptions would include like Canva, Epidemic Sound, HP Inc., things like that. So we're gonna start subscriptions with $5. My P.O. box, I currently have um, not the smallest size, but it's like the next smallest size P.O. box and I actually need to get a larger one so I pay for this this uh, once a year so this is an annual payment and um, like I said I really do want a larger P.O. box especially now with having planners and things in the shop in case something comes back to me I want to make sure that my P.O. box is large enough to um, handle the return so this subscription will be coming up I mean, this payment will be coming up in the summer. And during that time, I probably will upgrade to a larger box. And then the last business sinking fund is going to be planners. So, um, y'all know I'm a planner girl and my budget is in a physical planner. My faith planner is a physical planner. Like I just love planners. So, um, I buy these once a year, mainly from Erin Condren and I want to be able to save up for it. So by the end of the year, I'm not like, oh crap, okay, I have to spend $100, $200 to buy some new planners um, because that's what happened to me this year. I actually was needing to buy some new planners, more than one, and I was like, oh man, that's gonna cost. <laughs> um, luckily, I was blessed and ended up getting a gift card from Erin Condren to buy my planner, so I didn't have to come out of pocket, but um, that was just a blessing from God, and I just decided that, you know what, I'm gonna be more prepared in the new year. So these are my small business sinking funds, guys. I've broken them up into different categories. We're gonna start off stuffing them very small, not gonna put a whole lot. I don't wanna stress myself or stress my budget, um, but I definitely wanted to come up with another system to where I could keep a closer eye on the things that I need for my business. And then also just kind of let you guys see what I have going on and we'll see how this goes. So this is episode one and this is new for me, so I'm getting used to it, but we'll see how far it goes. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments um, and I will see you on Friday. Bye.